tell us who your characters are and what the dynamics are in this relationship with the threesome. Um, I play Albert, and he's kind of the jokester, the comedian, kind of just uh, almost every line's a punchline joke. Sure. And, and <laughs> um, you know, he, he kind of just keeps everything going. He, yeah. you know, he, um, you know, whenever they're out of their lines, Albert's gonna come in, like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so. The glue. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, the glue. He, yeah, he keeps them on, on track. My uh, character Brandon, he's um he's like the underdog and he's like the smallest of the bunch and uh, he um he's like the little bro, little yeah yeah little yeah bro yeah, yeah little bro and I, I'm and I I like look up to them you know I look up to him especially you know in in, in the role because like he's like all the girls love him so how can I get on Rico's level that's why I get the shoes you know mm -hmm. so yeah yeah you know? for for me I was just I mean it's pretty much just gonna say that I just feel like. For Brandon's character, I was just a big brother figure for him. And as far as Albert, I mean, that's just like, that's, that's we're eye to eye. That's my bro right there. I mean, but all together, it's like a dynamic trio. We all, we all gel well, very well. So what's the importance of the shoes? These, they, have, they, have, they have a magical quality. What is, it? what is it? Why does he want these shoes so bad? It's the just the originals. The it's the first it's Jordans ever, ever made. Ever like, of red. course. Like, it's Michael <laughs> Jordan. Like, that, it, just, I mean, if you come from Jordan, this culture, or if, you know, you, you listen to hip-hop, you watch basketball, or you're yeah. just into the, any of that, then you know how important these shoes are yeah. just to the culture. They're, you know, the first Jordans ever made. Ever made. Like <laughs> That's why they're like five hundred, six hundred dollars. Yeah. If you go look for, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They got banned. Yeah. Like, he couldn't play him. Nope. Like, he stepped on the uh, basketball court and got fined. Right. Yeah. They banned Michael Jordan from wearing those sneakers. Yeah. And then Nike just paid the fee every game, <laughs> so that he could wear it. <laughs> <laughs> now these these shoes are super important to me. They 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 they. They have a magical quality. They're important for his stature, for mm -hmm. his manhood. Yeah. yeah. Can you comment on that? Um. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the shoes were just, just more than the breads. I think for him it was confidence. Right. Yeah, and yeah. With those shoes yeah. came yeah. confidence. With those yeah. shoes came Girls. everything that he thought he mm -hmm. wanted. You know, people like finally like they they couldn't see Brandon before the shoes. When he had the shoes, like they. They were like, hey, what's up, Brandon? Like, oh, there go little Brandon. You know, like he has new shoes now. Yeah. And like now, like he 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 became popular I, I, in 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 some sorts. I feel like he felt like he was invisible before he put yep. those shoes on. Yeah. Yep. yeah. You saw as soon as he put them on, like the girls yeah, the whole liking thing them. Yeah. Everything just changed. Even he just, from his walk. Yeah. 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 Now, <clears throat> it's a it's a really um, violent uh, environment, mm -hmm. and. Um, Sort of violence begets violence. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of what one of the things that the movie is talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Can you can you elaborate on that? No, uh, I feel like um, you know, Justin always he he tried to tell us how you know violence and masculinity they co coexist together, and, and it's like you know, once you you know get beat up for your shoes, you kind of become a man now. That's yeah. how the world kind of makes everything yeah. seem, but it's. It's it's not about that. It's really yeah, it's way way deeper than that. It's 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 just a pair of shoes. Like why right. why is it going to this extent? Why are guns being drawn over a hundred dollar pair of shoes? You know, mm -hmm. and that's where you know I feel like Brandon kind of challenges that. He wants to get them back no matter what. Like you know yeah. what I mean? He went so far to get them, then you know it's 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 a horrible thing. But it's the reality of it. How unique is this to the to the East Bay? How unique is it? As in, like, how special is it? Yeah, is it, is it only in the East Bay? Or, for example, in, mm -hmm. in Long Beach, do you have the same dynamics? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Every city. It, it relates to, I think, just about it. Because, like, this is happening every day, you know? Yeah. It's not, like, yeah. just over shoes. It's over different things, yeah. like... Just yeah. materializes yeah. in general. Just it's not yeah. just the East Bay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, every, everywhere. Every city got a ghetto. Yeah. And uh, in the ghetto, there's the type of things that happen. Mm -hmm. And every city has a nice part of the city, but you got to drive past the ghetto part of the city to get to the nice part of the city. So you might get jacked for your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>